In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the superfine JPEG setting on the Olympus Pen F. Okay, so the Pen F is uh, a very JPEG centric camera, and I say that because there's two dedicated buttons on the Pen F uh, this control dial in the front, and this little toggle dial in the back. And then in addition to that, there's 32 art filters, uh, many of those customizable individually as well. So um, ironically though, Olympus did not set the camera to take JPEG images in its highest quality possible. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let's go into the menu and you'll see here in shooting menu one, and this is the recording mode menu down here with this little pixelated icon. The default setting for the camera is large normal. So, you know, I found that right away when I first got the camera and I said, oh, okay, well, there's a large fine setting, you know, LF. And large meaning it's the full 20 megapixel sensor or picture and fine, I thought at the time was the highest quality image you could take with this camera. So I selected that. And I come to discover later after, you know, going to forums and Facebook, etc., that there's actually uh, another setting called Superfine, which is even higher quality than the Fine setting. And it's kind of buried into the menu, but I'll show you where it is. Uh, just real quick, I'll make a note. I want you to look at these. There's basically RAW plus these four JPEG settings, then the four JPEG settings plus RAW as you go down. So these are the four settings I'm going to change. So we'll go into the menu and you need to go down to the custom menu and scroll down and you'll see the shooting or recording mode icon here. Click OK and there it is again. Click OK. And now those four settings that I pointed out earlier can be changed here. And the first one is the uh, uh, image size. Right now, large being the full 20 megapixel, small, medium, and back to large. So there's there's three settings for that. We'll leave that in large. And then when I'm scrolling through this one, you can see there's basic, normal, fine, and they're super fine. And that is the highest quality or lowest compression setting for JPEG files. And, and I don't know why Penf just doesn't make that the default setting in the camera. Uh, being a very JPEG centric camera. And I'm going to change these as well. I'm going to change this to large fine. And then I'm going to change this one to large normal. And we'll change this one to large basic. Okay, so now, now I have four JPEG settings, all of them at 20 megapixels. And if we look in the menu again, we'll go back to the shooting menu. Go into the recording mode menu, and you'll see now I have large superfine here. So there's large superfine, large fine, large normal, large basic, the four settings I just set in a custom menu, and then those four settings plus raw. So right now, and I'll look in the super control panel to verify I am in the large superfine mode. So let's let's take a picture about right here, and then we'll go back to the computer and compare these four images. Uh, for image quality, file size, if we can really tell any difference uh, superficially anyway. Okay, so I've brought these pictures into Lightroom and I did just a little bit of editing to amplify the effects of the JPEG compression so that it'll be easier to see on YouTube. But generally speaking, these are the pictures straight out of camera. So right now, up for comparison, I have the super fine JPEG versus fine JPEG. And let's go ahead and crop in, and I'm going to crop in 400%. And between super fine and fine JPEG, and the focus point I used was the cockpit here, I don't really see a lot of difference. I mean, in a blind test, I, I would probably not be able to tell the difference. But looking at it like this, I do see a tiny bit more grain or pixelation going on here in this blurry area and a tiny bit here in the dome so in the smoother areas of the picture 
there's there's a hint more grain, but it's not bad. It it really there's not much difference. Let's go over to another part of the wing where there's some more detail. And actually the fine looks like it has a little more detail, but it's 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 a little bit of an illusion because the super fine is giving you s subtle shades of the wing versus the fine uh, JPEG seems to be clipping some of the subtle shades just to <clears throat> one color. So this line here is darker than its equivalent line over here. So it did some compression there on the color, but not much. It's not bad. Overall, the detail is pretty good. Okay, so let's compare the superfine versus normal. Wow, okay, now between superfine and normal, there's a big drop uh, in detail and image quality. Uh, right away, you can start to see a lot of compression artifacts or kind of this checkerboard pattern. Like, you should be able to see four boxes here on YouTube. But there's four squares here, and there's squares all over the place. And when we go back over to the dome area, you can see this checkerboard pattern inside the dome. And let's go down. Um, yeah, it's very obvious. It's a lot of compression going on here, and a, and loss of detail. And a little bit in tones. I mean, the tones and the colors still look really good. So other than loss of detail, it doesn't look like the colors were affected too much. Okay, so now let's compare super fine versus basic. And yeah, there's definitely the checkerboard pattern and compression artifacts are more pronounced. But again, the color doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like it uh, lost any colors. It just lost a lot of the detail. So let's go up to the wing. And here in the wing, you, if you compare this side, super fine versus uh, basic, yeah, there's a lot of pixelation and uh, compression artifacts showing. And as I scroll over to the dome, the main focus point, this checkerboard pattern is very pronounced in the dome as well, or the cockpit. And just for grins, let me compare normal versus basic. So on the left now we have the normal setting. And remember, normal was the default setting for the Pen F. Why the Pen F or Olympus does that I don't know because look look how awful this is the compression now between normal and basic it's not a big drop but there is there is some loss in detail and more compression artifacts but not bad and let's go up to the dome and look and yeah you can see this checkerboard pattern is here but it's even more so on this side. So, but not, not a huge, not a huge difference. Down in here in the shaded shadow area, or I'm sorry, the, the back of the wing. Yeah. Okay, so I think you get the idea. Let's look at this part of the wing. Yeah, you can, you can see it. There's definitely more compression artifacts going on in the basic JPEG than normal. Okay, so that's our visual inspection. I try to quantify this the best I can. So what I did was is I used an application called Irfan View. And what it does is, is it looks at the file and tells me the compression I'm on the JPEG file here in this case 
tells me the JPEG compression or quality set at 90%. It tells me the number of colors it detects, and it also tells me the file size is 2.92 megabytes. Okay, and I put that together in this chart here. So let's look at this. And again, here are the file sizes. And I scaled these numbers so they all fit on the chart here. So if we're looking at this column for basic, we're at 2.9 megabytes. We're at 69% compression versus this file size of 9.5. So all I did was subtract 2.9 from 9.5 and made a percentage. Um, and then the uh, final number here is the number of colors times 100,000. So 3.3 really means 330,000 colors. And as you can see that, you know, from our visual inspection, I didn't notice a lot of difference in the color. And these numbers seem to support that visual inspection. And then the next thing here is the file compression. So what's not showing here is the superfine because I just made, made that zero because there's no compression going on there outside of normal JPEG 100% quality. And when we go to fine, there's roughly a 10% compression going on between superfine and fine. And then when we go to normal, there's about a 50% compression going on between that and superfine. So again, this supports our visual inspection of the drop in quality between superfine and normal. There's 50% there's more compression going on. Because if you look at the file size, we're at 4.7 versus 9.5. So it's roughly half or 50%. And then going from normal to basic, this blue bar, we're at almost 70% compression versus super fine. And then this is just a visual representation of the file sizes. The first one, the super fine being 9.5 megabytes and so on. Okay, so that basically sums it up. Uh, hopefully this enlightens you a little on the different recording modes for the JPEG settings in the PenF. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button below. I'm going to make some more videos on the PenF. And so go ahead and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Okay, thanks for watching.